President Nicolas Maduro, he said that he was just trying to hold a peaceful uh, event to commemorate uh, Venezuelan National Guards, but he accused former Colombian President Juan Manuel Santon, uh, Santos sorry, uh, for a plan to kill him. That's what President Nicolas Maduro said. And he also claimed that authorities confirmed that they have captured several people involved in uh, these attacks. Now, over the last year, President Maduro has repeatedly warned about some alleged uh, attacks against him. He has, he has also said that the Venezuelan opposition and the U.S. government want to overthrow him at any cost. And uh, But there are some other uh, things going on here on social networks. There are uh, images and videos of a building on fire. Re on fire, reports indicate that uh, inside their building, a uh, domestic gas tank exploded. This building was uh, close to the Bolivar Avenue, where President Maduro was given a speech, but fi uh, firefighters who happened to be in the event where President Maduro was speaking said that the, uh, what actually happened was a gas explosion inside an apartment and not what President Nicolás Maduro and information, uh, in Minister of Information here in Venezuela are saying, but this is an unofficial uh, information because uh, these firefighters, they want to remain in anonymity. But President Nicolás Maduro said that he saw a flying object passing in front of him, and he said that he is pretty sure that uh, former Colombian president wanted to kill him, but he said that they will never uh, be able to do it because he has the support of millions of Venezuelans who still believe in him. Very much opposing uh, versions of events because we do see President Nicolas Maduro as it happens. He looks up, you can see his wife behind him look up, but then of course we have these images from this building nearby that does look like an explosion has happened. And of course, this is a man uh, who, when Hugo Chavez died, said that it was potentially a poisoning uh, from the US. So this is a very, very difficult situation to get to the bottom of. Uh, he, Nicolas Maduro is not a universally liked man in Venezuela, is he? Well, the popularity of President Nicolás Maduro is at its worst between uh, 18 and 25 percent of popular sympathy, according to posters here in Venezuela. And over the last month, we have seen how widespread uh, protests have taken place across Venezuela. People here are demanding President Nicolás Maduro to solve the deep economic crisis this country is facing. They say that uh, people here are dying of starvation. They say that the Venezuelan government should allow uh, to open a humanitarian channel so food and medicine can uh, enter Venezuela and alleviate uh, the, the many, uh, many problems Venezuelans have right now. And President Nicolás Maduro said that um, he asked Venezuela to be patient because he said that he has plans to solve the deep economic crisis. But uh, what happened today is just a sign that uh, maybe the popularity of President Nicolás Maduro might not be the best. Uh, talk to me a little bit about what is happening on the streets of Caracas. I'm, I'm reading that the military is out on the streets. What's the feeling there uh, among people and, and, uh, and how are the information channels, uh, you know, how, well, what's happening, sort of some thinking social media, what are people saying in terms of what they think has happened? Well, uh, in, in social media, Maduro's opponents, they are speaking and, of course, claiming that it was a hoax. They say that this is something planned by the Venezuelan government in order to distract people from the real problems that uh, most uh, citizens are having in Venezuela right now. They are also saying that uh, um, President Nicolás Maduro just want to to create something that doesn't exist. But President Nicolás Maduro is pretty sure that uh, what happened today was an attempt to kill him. Now in Caracas, the streets are really, really quiet. And the presidential palace, where President Nicolás Maduro is, is completely, um, uh, there are military men and women ar uh, around uh, the presidential palace. But right now, what uh, in, on social media, what you can read is that people do not believe what President Nicolás Maduro is saying. They say that there is something else. And uh, there is a lot of speculations of what happens and that they are not pretty sure of what just happened. Thank you Uncertainty for that. Uncertainty is what rules in Venezuela right now.